Cut the sides and shoulders of the t-shirt to create two pieces of fabric from the front and back. Trim down the print on the front of the t-shirt, ensuring that the height of the print is at least 2 inches taller than the height of the styrene. Trim down the sides of the print. Here I am trimming as close to the armpits as possible. Plan out how the printed piece of the t-shirt will fit on the lampshade and what other parts of the t-shirt can be used to fill out the sides. I'm going to create some extra fabric from the back of the t-shirt. To create extra fabric from the back of the t-shirt, simply cut out two rectangular strips of fabric. You can use scissors, but it's a lot faster and more accurate to use a rotary cutter and ruler if you have them. Peel back the release liner of the adhesive styrene and apply the pieces of t-shirt fabric to the sticky side of the styrene sheet. Ensure the printed piece of the t-shirt goes down in the middle, so add the two back pieces to each of the sides before adding the printed piece in the center of the styrene. Ensure that there is an overlapping piece of fabric of at least half an inch on each of the sides of the styrene. You may wish to trim down the excess fabric where the pieces overlap. Next, flip over the styrene and fabric and trim the overhanging fabric to one half inch around all sides of the styrene except for one of the short sides, which is trimmed flush. Using the lampshade glue in the kit, glue and fold over the overhanging fabric on the other short edge. This will create a neat seam in the finished shade. Roll the styrene into a cylinder and secure with binder clips at the top and bottom. Insert one of the rings inside the cylinder and rest it on the arms of the binder clip. Use the other binder clips to keep the ring flush with the top edge of the styrene. It might take a little adjusting, but you want the clips to hold the ring in place at the very edge of the styrene while you glue the fabric to the rings. Now, apply the lampshade glue and use the nozzle to spread the glue around the fabric. You can also use an old paintbrush to apply the glue. Using your fingers, press the fabric over the lampshade rings. Working in sections on a few inches at a time, do the same for another section of the shade. The lampshade glue takes about a minute to get really tacky, and this is the optimum time to come back to an earlier section and start to push the fabric up and under the rings for a neat rolled edge finish. Occasionally it's good to put the lampshade on its side, so you can easily see where the fabric needs to be pushed up. The top lampshade ring has three spokes. Use scissors to create a notch in the fabric above the spokes to create a neat finish when you tuck the fabric under the rings. To finish the shade, apply some glue under the seam of the lampshade. Use a heavy object to weigh down the lampshade while the glue dries. Your shade will be dry and ready to use in less than an hour. Now if you're lucky enough to have a t-shirt where the top of the print ends below the armpit, or you're happy with a portion of the print being trimmed, you can just create a single piece of fabric from the t-shirt and apply it to the styrene. Do this by trimming down the t-shirt and then making a vertical cut up the back of the t-shirt. This creates one long piece of fabric with the print right in the middle. Apply the styrene to the fabric by peeling back a section and smoothing it onto the reverse side of the t-shirt fabric. Continue applying the styrene in sections. Then follow the same steps to create your t-shirt lampshade. 